which brings me to the bull case. On January 3rd, Bank of America kicked things off, upgrading L brands to buy and raising the price target from 21 to 25. Their argument, they say Bath & Body Works is the best in class asset, and they believe management has a lot of different opportunities to unlock value. I totally agree with that. In particular, they're hoping for a Bath & Body Works spinoff. I agree with that. As for Victoria's Secret, uh, that could be a very positive, be a positive catalyst, too, if it gets so bad that management has to completely rethink the brand. Next, on January 10, Deutsche Bank, they took L Brands from Hold to Buy, even as they cut their earnings messages in the wake of a not-so-high holiday sales report. Now, this was one of those outright, it is so bad that it's good call. As they see it, the weak results make a breakup more likely. They also point to the, uh, to the standstill agreement with that activist firm I mentioned, Barrington. It expires next month, so they can start pushing for a split. I think that that's very important to the zeitgeist of the analysts. This past Tuesday, Key Bank upgraded L, L Brands from equal weight to overweight. Their argument may sound familiar. Quote, we believe that the stark differential in performance between Victoria's Secret and Bath and & Body Works and lack of any discernible turnaround at Victoria's Secret makes a value-creating transaction more likely. End quote. Finally, and this was the one that I just said, all right, all right, all right, come on, let's do a piece on this. Barclays came out with a coveted double upgrade yesterday. That's when you get a sell directly to a buy, don't go to hold, do not pass go. And they're making the same case as everybody else. I mean, here's how we, they put it, and I'm going to quote. We believe change is afoot. While we cannot be certain what form change will take, what we can say is the status quo is not an option, end quote. And look, I get where they're coming from. L Brands appears to be cheap, trading at nine times earnings. They don't need to get much right for the stock to roar higher, and, and a spinoff to unlock the value of Bath & Body Works would be a home run. I do think someone is in the, something is in the works here, or you wouldn't get such a flurry of upgrades. It just doesn't happen. But here's the problem. Turnarounds take time, and you can lose a fortune while you're waiting for an intractable management to do the right thing. Even then, I don't think it'll happen overnight. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's another dividend cut, because the pain from Victoria's Secret is so severe. If it gets any worse, I think the business will be losing L Brand's money. Of course, if you're going to bet on a turnaround, you have to get in early before there's any significant evidence that things are getting better. But considering the recent track record of L Brands, at this point, after all these upgrades, I'm a tad wary about jumping on the bullish bandwagon. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.